Hi, this is Tracy Krebel, and I am with you tonight to tell you about our Wednesday night children's Advent story. So tonight we're going to talk about the Advent wreath. We see them every Sunday in church during Advent, and I, as a kid I always wondered what it was, what it meant. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Advent wreath, and then we're going to make one of our own, okay? So the beginning of Advent is a time for the hanging of the greens or the decoration of the church with evergreen wreaths and trees. These help symbolize the new and everlasting life brought through Jesus. The Advent wreath is a symbol of the beginning of the church year. It is a circular evergreen wreath with five candles, four around the wreath and one in the center. The circle of the wreath reminds us of God himself his eternity and endless mercy for us, which has no beginning or end. The green of the wreath speaks of the hope that we have in God, the hope of newness, of renewal, and of eternal life in heaven. The candles symbolize the light of God coming into the world through the birth of his son. It also reminds us that we are called to be the light to the world as we reflect the light of God's grace to others. The four outer candles represent the period of waiting during the four Sundays of Advent, which themselves also symbolize the four centuries of waiting between the prophet Malachi and the birth of Christ. The colors of the candles vary with different traditions, but there are usually three purple or blue candles and one pink candle, and then in the center there's a white candle. Each Sunday of Advent, one of the candles is lit, a scripture is read, a short reading is given, and a prayer is offered. Each Sunday, the previous candle is also lit. The first candle that we light is traditionally the candle of hope. This draws attention to the anticipation of the coming of Jesus. The second candle is the candle of peace. Jesus is our peace. The third candle is the candle of joy. The angels sang a message of joy. The fourth candle is the candle of love. The angels announced the good news of a savior sent to us by God because he loves us. It says this in John 3, 16, 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. The center candle is white and is called the Christ candle. It is traditionally lit on Christmas day. The central location of the Christ candle reminds us that the birth of Jesus is the heart of the season, giving light to the world. So since we all can't get together for Advent this year to celebrate in church. We're going to make an Advent wreath of our own that you can use at home. After it's finished, you can look up prayers and scriptures with your family and you can use, you can light your own Advent count, a wreath. Okay, now please remember that when you light a, a candle, it is real fire. And so we don't want to burn anybody or do anything like that. So kids, make sure mom and dad are around when you are doing your Advent wreath prayers and scriptures and lighting of the candle, okay? So we need a few different things. We need a paper plate. I used a little one. You can use a big one. Whichever size you want to do your Advent wreath, you do, okay? You're going to need some markers or crayons, green preferably because it is the color of the wreath. You're going to need some pipe cleaners or Play-Doh, green. You're going to need some candles. I use birthday candles. So I have some blue and some pink birthday candles. You can also use a white birthday candle for the center one. Or I also have one of these you can use a tea light candle. I have one of these that you just turn it on and it flickers. You can set it in the middle of your can or in the middle of your wreath also. And then you need decorations. Okay. This is your advent wreath, so you can decorate it however you want. So if you whatever you got at home. So if you have pom-poms, 
jingle bells. If you have like some foam uh, pieces, you can use like crosses or holly berries or leaves, you know, to make it look uh, more like a wreath. You can use sequins and beads, whatever you would like to use to decorate your wreath with, you can do that. You will also need a hot glue gun if you're going to use pipe cleaners, okay? So if you're gonna use pipe cleaners, you will also need a hot glue gun, okay? So first what you're gonna do is you're just going to color the outside of your wreath. Don't color the inside because remember it's hollow. There's a circle that's in the middle. This is where your white candle's gonna go, okay? Um, you can cut it out also if you want. I prefer to just leave mine so that way I have something to set my white candle on, okay? So you color the outside of your wreath and then decorate it. Decorate it however you want, but make sure you leave room for your candles. So your candles can go a little bit on the inside, but they also kind of need to be around the outside. So make sure you leave room for your candles and only decorate the green that you color. Don't decorate the center. The center is hollow. You gotta kind of pretend like it's not even there, okay? So decorate the outside, okay? Then you can take your candles. So you can do have a couple different options. If you have Play-Doh, you can take your Play-Doh and kind of mold it up into a little mound and stick your candle down into it so it stays up because you don't want these to fall over while they're lit. So make sure that you use plenty of Play-Doh that it's gonna stay standing on your wreath, okay? The other one you can do is you can take a pipe cleaner and your candle and you can wrap your pipe cleaner around the bottom of your candle. Again, this is what's gonna help hold your candle up. So make sure you, you get it pretty tight on there, okay? Don't have it real loose. And then you're going to take your hot glue and do not use regular glue on this because it will not be enough. You have to use hot glue, okay? So if you do this option, make sure you have hot glue. So you'll do your hot glue, put some hot glue on, and then you'll stick it on there, hold it on there. You might have to have mom and dad help with this if you're a little young, okay? Because that will hurt if you touch it. And then it'll stay on when you're done, okay? So make sure that they're sturdy, because again, if you like these, you wanna make sure they're not gonna fall over. Then you can take your, either your white candle, you can do the same thing, put your white candle, if you use a white birthday candle, and put it in the middle. You can use a tea light candle, or you can use one of these too, and set it in the middle too. So you're gonna have this all decorated. It's gonna look awesome. You're gonna put your four candles, kind of like in a square, and then your white candle in the middle, okay? However you want to do it. This is your advent wreath. So make it your own. Have a lot of fun with it, okay? And we hope to see you guys again at church real soon. Have a Merry Christmas, bye. Oh, wait, I forgot something. When you are done with your wreath, if you'd like, you can make a, or take a picture of it with you so we can see it and you can send it into the church, either send it to Sarah or send it to the church, or you can put it on our Facebook page and we can all look at them and see what great Advent wreaths you guys made, okay? Have a great day, bye.